One. One goal. Whenever I'm down a bit, I have found that this often happens because there is a lot going on together in my life. I'm trying to do a lot. And it eliminates my energy and motivation. Perhaps this is the most common mistake that people do. They try to do a lot together. If you try to achieve two or more goals at a time, then you cannot keep energy and focus on your goal, the two most important things to achieve. This is not possible, I have tried many times. You have to choose one goal for now and focus on it completely. I find it hard, but I'm telling from my experience. Once you reach your present goal, then you can achieve your remaining goals. Two. Find inspiration. I get inspiration from those people who have already achieved what I want to do, or those people who are doing what I want to do. I read more blogs, books, magazines. I do my goals Google, and read success stories. Zen Habits is one of those places, not only from me, but from many other readers who have received wonderful things. 3. Get excited. This sounds very obvious in listening, but most people do not think much about it. If you want to get out of despair, then be excited for any goal. But if you do not feel motivated, then how will you feel excited? Well, it starts with inspiration from others, but you need to take enthusiasm from others and change it to your energy. I have found that I talk to my wife and other people, read more about this, and visualize it by looking at the benefits achieved by achieving goal in mind, I feel excited about how successful it will feel. Once this is done, then it is necessary to carry the same energy ahead and move forward. 4. Build anticipation. It can be hard to hear, and Aki people will skip this tip. But it really works. After several unsuccessful attempts due to this tip, I could quit drinking cigarette. If you get inspiration to achieve your goal then do not try to get it immediately. Many of us would be excited to start our work today. This is a mistake. Set a date for future, one or two weeks later, or even a month, and make it your start date. Mark it on the calendar. Be excited about that date. Make him the most important date of your life. In the meantime, make your plan. And follow the steps below. Because with your start delay, you build anticipation and increase your energy and attention towards your goal. 5. Post your goal. Take a big print out of your goal. Write your goal in few words, like a mantra, exercise 15 minutes daily, and paste it on your wall or fridge. Put it in your own home in your office, put it on your computer's desktop. You want to set big reminders for your goals, so that you can focus on your goal and be excited about it. Applying a picture related to your goal can also be helpful, like a model with sexy abs, for example. 6. Commit publicly. Nobody wants to look bad in front of others. We do extra efforts to do what we have said publicly. For example, when I wanted to run my first marathon race, then I started writing a column about it in my local newspaper. The whole population of Guam knew about this goal. Now I could not move back, though my motivation was getting less, but I was holding this goal and finished the race. You do not need to commit your goal in any newspaper, but you can call it your family, friends, and you can tell from co-workers, and if you have a blog then you can write about it too. And your self-responsible responsibilities do not commit only once, but every week or month of all about your progress update also commit to doing. 7. Think about it daily. If you think about your goal every day, then it is more likely to complete. That is why it is helpful to place your goal on the wall or on a desktop. It is also helpful to send yourself a reminder every day. And if you do this small job every five minutes every day, then it is almost certain that your goal will be fulfilled. 8. Get support. It is difficult to make something alone. 
When I decided to run in the marathon, then there was the support of friends and family with me, as well as a good community of people running in Guam who ran with me and used to encourage me. When I wanted to quit smoking, I joined an online forum, which was very helpful to me. And in this work my wife Eva gave me along on every step. I could not do this without the help of others and others. Find your support network, around you or online or both. 9. Realize that there is an ebb and flow. Motivation is not something that is always with you. It comes, goes and comes again, like a tide. Understand this, even though it goes away, but it does not go away forever. Motivation comes back. Just stay connected to your goal and wait for the motivation to come back. Read about your goals during this time, ask for help from others, and do some other things here as long as your motivation does not come back. 10. Stick with it. Whatever you do, do not give up. Whether you are feeling motivated today or this week, do not miss your goal. Your motivation will come back again. Look at your goal like a long trip, and the demotivation that comes in between is just a speed breaker. You do not leave the trip when small pearl obstacles arrive. Stay connected with your goal for a long time, cross fluctuation and you will reach there. 11. Start small really small. If you are having trouble getting started then perhaps the reason for this is that you are thinking very big. If you want to exercise, then you might be thinking that 5 days a week is intensely workout. No, take small baby steps instead. Just exercise for two minutes. I know this may sound strange to you. It's so easy, you cannot fail but you do it. Just a few crunches, two push-ups, and a little jogging. When you do this for two minutes for a week, then increase it to five minutes, and do it for a week. In one month you will start doing 15 minus 20 minutes. Want to get up early in the morning. Do not think of getting up at 5 in the morning, instead of you get up to 10 weeks in advance for just one week. Once you've done this, then get up 10 minutes and get up early. Baby steps. 12. Build on small successes. Once again, if you start with a small target for a week, then you will succeed. If you start with something very easy, then you cannot fail. Who cannot exercise for two minutes? If you are that, then I apologize, and you will feel successful, you will feel better inside. Take the smallest steps along with this feeling. For example, add two to three minutes to your exercise routine. With every single step, and every step should last at least one week, and you will feel more successful. Keep one step too small and you will not fail. Two months later, your small steps will give you lots of progress and success. 13. Read about it daily. When I lose my motivation, I read a book or blog related to my goal. This inspires me and makes me strong. Whatever you read due to any reason, it inspires you in that subject and helps you focus your attention. So if you can read, then read about your goal daily, especially if you are not feeling motivated. 14. Call for help when your motivation ebbs. There is a problem. Ask for help email me join an online forum. Find a partner for yourself call your mother. This does not mean who is in front of it, just tell your problem, it would be helpful to talk about it. Ask their advice. Ask them to help you remove them from the demotivated state, it work. 15. Think about the benefits, not the difficulties. A common problem is that we think that how difficult a thing is. Exercise seems very hard to do. Thinking about it makes you tired. But think of how difficult it is to play something, think about how much benefits it has. For example, instead of thinking of how difficult it is to exercise, think of how well you feel after doing this, and how long you will be healthy and slimmer. The benefits of something will energize you. 16. 
Squash negative ideas, replace them with positive ones. It is important to monitor your thoughts. Identify which negative self-talk you are actually demotivating. Identify it. Just spend a few days knowing what negative thoughts are within you, and then after a few days take them out of your way like a bug, and then replace them with corresponding positive thought. If you think that it is very difficult, then change it with, I can do this. If that Leo can do it, then I too. It gives some awkward hearing, but it works. Really.